and I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make this fight happen. No, because of the stipulations he put against me, he likes to fight people with no power, so he's trying to weight drain me. No, Then a rehydration clause, I can't gain more than 10 pounds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Like I told you before, that the story of this fight between Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia is going to be about that rehydration clause. Now, Timothy Bradley is coming out saying that, that Tank Davis is cheating against Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia said he's hungry and that he can't eat. Hit that like button for your boy. We on Bushido Bikes and TV. This is where we're going to be. But Tim Bradley has some things to say about this rehydration clause, right? And as we know, Tim Bradley and Javante Tank Davis, they aren't the best of friends, right? Those guys don't really seem to like each other. Tim Bradley actually came out and said he really don't like Javante Tank Davis. But he said that he is cheating by putting his rehydration clause on Ryan Garcia. He said it's soft, dude. And he says this, quote, he doesn't have a whole lot of problems with guys that size. Tank also likes guys that come out fast. He doesn't mind that. He'll play defense for a little while. He'll play possum, and he'll allow you to get comfortable. That is that is so soft. I'm sorry. If you're going to do it, do it. If you're going to a party, party. If you're going to buy your kids some shoes, buy your kids some shoes. And this is what I said. If you can beat them, go beat them. Right? Y'all heard me saying this. If you can beat them, go beat them. Because now there's going to be a built-in excuse for this fight. I told you guys this is what's going to happen. And then now this is the story of the fight. Then he says, this dude tank, first of all, has him coming down to 136. And then he put in a rehydration clause. Man, if that ain't cheating at his best. And if that isn't trying to have the advantage, bro, then I don't know what is. This dude tank, first of all, has him coming down to 136. And then he put in a rehydration clause. Man, if that ain't cheating at his best. And... If that isn't trying to have the advantage, bro, then I don't know what is. That's soft. The crazy thing is there's going to be an asterisk right up there. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. Fans thought I was crazy. Oh, well, he's the A side. and You know, he can do this and he can do that. I don't. What? Bro, if you can beat him, go beat him. And then he says, if he wins this fight by knockout or even wins in general, I'm going to be like, ah, I mean, come on, bro. See, <laughs> I told you, I told you guys, man. Like it's this is and then a, then a talks of this rehydration. You know, it's not even April yet. So as the weeks get close and close, that's going to be the huge talk of the fight. People will be really paying attention to Ryan. Ryan's posting um, videos of himself and pictures of himself. Talking about he hungry. You know, I mean, you know, this sucks and. And all this other stuff, right? I mean, look. But it's like I said, you guys. Now there's going to be asterisks surrounding this fight. If Tank wins, oh, well, you beat a weekend Ryan. If Ryan wins, well, Ryan, you overcame the odds. So by them doing this, right? They just... I, it's it's not good, right? The, 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 the catch weight was fine. Right? The catch weight, 136 catch weight, okay, cool. Right? The 136, cool. But the rehydration clause, okay, now you're, now you're doing a little too much. But Ryan Garcia still agreed to abide by the stipulations, man. I mean, unfortunately, <laughs> he had to do all that to get this dude in the ring, but that's just what it is. Then he says this, the world sees the coward. Everybody thinks this guy is going to be able to beat me. I'm the underdog, but this is what defines you as a champion. I'm willing to risk it all going into the ring. There's nothing more I'm thinking about. I want this more than anything in my entire life. I don't know if he feels the same way. And based off of how Ryan had to jump a lot of hurdles to get Tank in the ring, um, I believe him. I, I, I really believe him. I believe him at this point that Ryan Garcia is out to prove something. I mean, by him just taking abiding by all those stipulations, Ryan Garcia is, is, is a somewhat of a star itself. He's the B-side to Tank, but, you know, he's also younger. So it's only a matter of time before Ryan 
became a star in the sport anyway. He said, look, I'll buy all these stipulations, whatever. I'll do whatever I got to do to get you in the ring. So my hat's off to Ryan automatically because of that. Then he says, when I hear him talking in interviews, I can't fight him at 140. He's not ready to give everything. I'm here for a purpose. So I'm willing to give everything. I'm comfortable what will happen in the ring, but he's not. Then Ryan also said some things like, but this is an Elijah run. I'm coming from 170, 180. So Tank Davis said Ryan was lying, right? About Ryan, um, about Ryan having a, uh, in his contract that he could only drink water and eat for three days out of the week of Tank's, for Tank's comfortability, right? And then Tank Davis responds by saying, no, the F I didn't. He praised God so much, right? Lying is a sin. Beep. So yeah, uh, Tank Davis responds to this, right? This is what everybody's talking about now, man. You know, and Ryan said, well, this isn't a lie. Me coming from 170, 180. So Ryan Garcia comes out and says me coming down from 180 pounds is a lie. So. And then he says, you can't help that the world seeing this coward. <laughs> he says, you can't help that the world seeing this coward way of yours. You're not looking so tough after all from the purse to the stipulation. You are looking weak, says Ryan Garcia. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it was a long interview Ryan had here, and I'm not going to go over everything, but we get the gist of it, right? We get the gist of it, right? We know what the, you know, guys thinking Tank is cheating, guys look at, looking at it like Tank is looking for an advantage, and really, that's just what it is. You know, Leonard Ellaby be coming out saying, well, when you're the A side, you can do these things. That don't mean it's right. You know, it's, it's manipulating the sport. It's already a very, very brutal, complicated sport as it is, and then when you go up in there and put these rehydration clauses on fighters, it's just not a good thing. Canelo Alvarez used to do it, and I used to get on him for it, too. And I'm going to have to get on Tank, too. You're supposed to be the G. G for Javante, right? The gorilla. And, and you putting in stipulations and rehydrations. Come on, bro. Now I got to start saying that when it comes to Tank Davis, bro. But Timothy Bradley comes out and said that's cheating at his best, right? <laughs> Ryan Garcia is hungry. This dude got to be hungry all the way up until April 22nd, bro. It's not cool, but we're going to see what Ryan Garcia can do it. And I think as the weeks go by, more and more people are going to start getting behind Ryan. Yeah, some people are going to say he's complaining. Yeah, some people are going to say he shouldn't have signed. But he did it for boxing. My hat goes off to Ryan. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.